Thanks for joining us. It is 7.07. Now, here in central Illinois, we have a lot of grain elevators and a few coal mines. That's right. And a big danger in both of those locations can be dust explosions. And our favorite mad scientist, wise guy Matt Salem, is here to explain how that can happen. Good morning, Matt. Good morning. So, <laughs> we've been talking about burning and exploding things, and that's one of my favorite topics. And so, it occurred to me that we could probably make a dust explosion right here in the lab. And so, we've been working up this demo for the past week. And I should say that when we were practicing this demo yesterday, it worked so well that we set off the fire alarms in this building and everybody had to stand outside until the fire department came. So that, we hope that doesn't happen this morning, but you know, so we're going to see what happens. So, so, really, so, here, so here's what it is. If you have something which is flammable but doesn't burn very easily, like, like wood, for example, you know if you chop wood into tiny pieces, it's much easier to light it. And so the same thing works uh, with things like corn. Uh, when you grind it into flour and it gets very dusty, those tiny grains burn very, very easily. And in fact, my question for the viewers for next week is to explain how this works and why this works. So I'm going to do the demonstration, and then in your emails you can tell me how the thing works. But anyways, um, so what I have here is some powdered sugar in this little tray. And if I throw a match in there, nothing happens. It's very hard to light sugar. You can do it. You can get a sugar cube and light it on fire, but it, it certainly doesn't explode. What I have down here is a funnel that's filled with the same stuff. It's just powdered sugar from the store. There's a hose attached to this that I'm going to blow air into, which is going to cause this powdered sugar to go poof into the air. And these candles, which are right here, are going to ignite this powdered sugar. So this would be the same as somebody lighting a lighter in a grain elevator where it's very dusty, for example. It could also cause an explosion. So just so that I don't make too big of a mess in this room, I'm going to surround this with this plastic tube like this. And then I'm going to put a lid on it, like this, because the lid will go flying off. It'll be sort of interesting looking. And <clears throat> here's the hose that I'm going to blow into. But since I can't blow very well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this hose to a compressed air tank, which I have right here. OK. So now, on the count of three, I'm going to put the valve or push the valve on this tank. The air is going to blow this uh, powdered sugar into this volume. And we're going to see what happens. Hopefully something good will happen. So on the count of three, one, two, three. <laughs> so did you see that? Yes. yes. Okay, so that was actually, lucky for me, it wasn't as big of an explosion as it was yesterday, and the fire alarm didn't go off. Yet. And I'm going to cover that up right away so that I don't get in trouble again. <laughs> but uh, so, so, so the reason that this works is actually fascinating, and I want to talk about that at the beginning of uh, next week's uh, Piece. And so what I'd like people to do is to send me some email, wiseguy at uiuc.edu, and explain to me why it works to grind something up into such a fine powder, why that makes it burn much faster and actually can make it explode. That is a very good question. Well, you know, at least if the guys at the fire department are watching, they're going to know if they hear an alarm to your building, they're going to know why. Well, the guy <laughs> yesterday said, you know, I get off at 7 o'clock, so if you're going to do that again, do it at 7.01. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was nice of you to, to accommodate and, and I wanna, you. I want to thank, I, I, there's such great people down here in the demo room, by the way, Bernie and the people who work with him, Angie and uh, Gwendolyn and Erica and Easter, all these people spend a lot of time uh, getting all this stuff together and helping me uh, get this demo so it actually works. So it's well, really uh, great. I happen to know Angie and she's dating my son. So right, she always says it's so much fun <laughs> to be in there when you're setting things up. She says it's always a lot of fun. Okay, thank you, Matt Sellen. And again, if you want to try to answer his question this week and, and solve this puzzle, wiseguy at uiuc.edu.